Hey, when I found out there was some new tables coming out for the Legends Pinball, I was thrilled. It's always an instant buy for me. And I found out these were about natural history. Wasn't sure what to think. Are they fun? Is it worth it? We're going to check out the natural history tables right here, right now, on Digital Victory. First up, Amazonia. I can tell you right away that I am very impressed with the artwork. Uh, many of the Legends tables have okay back glasses, but that's pretty hot. That looks great. Let's jump in. All right. Obviously, uh, not going to be a tutorial at this point. I've not learned these tables. Don't know really anything about them. Just going to be checking things out. Whoa. I like having the post there. <laughs> Cool effects with the clouds and the fish. I dig that. I have no problem with that. I like it. You hear the sound effects with the storm and stuff? I love it. I really like that. I'm trying to get these uh, drop targets taken care of. Got two more to go. I don't know if I can backhand it up there. Not quite. Flippers up top I see as well. It looks like another play field up top because I'm hitting the flipper button but I don't see those flippers up there moving so it looks like you got to hit it up there to get to those. Fair enough. Once again I'm back to those same two. Post? Yes. Okay. Whew. Glad I had the patience for that. Oh, look at the snake. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, I dig that. Okay, locked ball. Um, very cool. Some kind of multi-ball action in the future, I hope. How did I do that? Okay, I think I just hit it into that hole there, huh? The clouds there do muck things up, which is obviously their intention, so I'm cool with that. I absolutely love the sound effects, the nature sound effects of the animals and the storm. I can't tell, is there a, like a day-night cycle to this table? Because it looks dark. I don't recall it being this dark earlier. That's pretty cool if there is. That's very cool actually. Whoa. Nice. Ah, shoot. I had to shoot again lit. I'm not sure why, but... Maybe it was just a really long grace period. I don't know. I got some targets on the left. Uh-oh. Whoa, nice patience there. That's pretty cool. I like this. Now, there may be some some cuts in this video. I have noticed in the past with the Zachariah tables, also by Magic Pixel, they're a little easier in that you can have longer games, which I dig. I like that a lot. But you guys don't want to sit around for a you know 30, 40 minute video. So if I cut the video, that'll be why. Last ball. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, I had a, a ball save there. Good. Oh, boo! Amazonia. I like what I've seen so far. Haven't had a chance to check out any uh, multi-balls or anything with it, though. I suppose it's a little more exciting even than it showed. This one gets a thumbs up. I like it. Let's check out another. Next up, Dinosaur Dynasty. All right. Anything with dinosaurs is cool with me. You know me. That's how I go. 
pretty cool. Kind of busy, but uh, a lot going on. I don't know anything yet, but we'll see how things work out here. can't figure out something to do here. Combo. The bird took the ball. The pterodactyl took the ball. That's awesome. Got the clouds like the previous table. I like that. Oh, okay. Take you to that other play field. Cool. I like it. Got no problem with this. This is neat. Nice, let's go. Now, it's got that kind of droning background, um, occasional dinosaur sounds in the background. I kind of like that, I have no problem with that. But I like the Amazon one better. I like those uh, background sounds better, both the weather and the animals. Maybe some different dinosaur sounds that are a little more interesting would be better. I don't know, just an observation, not a huge criticism. I do look forward to digging into this and learning the rules. Uh oh. Nice. Uh oh. Man, I love having the posts. Not gonna lie. trying. Uh oh. Cool. Neat. Oh, geez. That didn't last long. Hey, nice. Grace period. I like it. Oh man! Thank God for the grace period, huh? Whew. I'm still trying to find my way into that mode hole. Wait, I got everything lit up on that right ramp. Let's just see if we can't get something going there. Ah, I lost it. Dang it! Well, this is Dinosaur Dynasty. Like I said, not as a uh, pleased with this as I am the first one, but that may change once I learn the rules. I do like the look of it. Let's do another. Number three on the list, Last Ice Age. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. Again, loving the artwork. Got no problem with any of that. Let's give it a shot. Another extra play field up top I see. Completely separate because the flippers don't even work yet. Kind of hit it up there for that, I guess. Oh, did you see that? A big elk or deer or whatever <laughs> grabbed the ball. That's pretty wild. There's that deer again. Wonder if there's some uh, prehistoric name for that. It's not a deer or an elk. It's a blankety blank. I don't know. Should have paid attention in science. All right, here we go. Now, my brother had this really cool book about nature and science that covered God, the whole era from prehistoric to modern with all these really great paintings of animals and stuff. It's one of my favorite books growing up. I wish I could ever find that again. That'd be awesome. This reminds me of that because they had a big section on the whole prehistoric man. Here we go again. I kind of like that. Shooting it into the upper play field like that. That's neat. 
I wonder what the prizes are and what your your goals are up there. Love the animations on these tables so far. All of them have been really cool animations with the animals and dinosaurs and birds and stuff. I like that. I'm digging this one so far. Hey, I recognize that voice. That is my man Crow. I'm almost sure of it. If you don't know who Crow is, check out the Crow Continuum. Great pinball channel. Cool dude. Great player. Uh-oh. Alright. Yeah, I like this, this game because it seems kind of easy. I stayed alive a lot longer here than I did on the previous one. That is definitely Crow. <laughs> Crow, if you're watching, what's up? Good to hear you, man. left. Yep, this table's a winner. I'm telling you right now, I dig this one a lot. Oh, and the haptics are great on these, by the way. I, I should have mentioned that. I can tell right away. Uh, the haptics are really well implemented. Feels great. Looks like there's a word up there, ice, that I have one more letter to light up there. I'm going to try and do that. Oh, come on. Wow. Man, I like the first ball a lot more than the other two. But this is Last Ice Age, and I like this one. Let's check out another. And the final table is Exoplanets. And look at that play field. That's awesome. Man, that looks great. Yeah, back glass is okay. But I love the play field. Let's, let's check it out. Love the animation. I'm guessing that's the sun. Huh. Got some uh, little drop targets there to hit in the front there. Kind of close. Don't love that, but no big deal. Oh, okay. I see I missed. Whoa, why is the ball all slow? What's it doing there? I'm sure it has something to do with the table mechanics and gravity of different things, I guess. I don't know. It's moving really slow. Interesting. Whoa. Oh, are those black holes? Neat. <laughs> now, did this get dark again? Is this similar to Amazon, Amazonia in that there's uh, different light cycles? Seems like it. Boy, the lighting is spectacular. This looks fantastic. Don't love that, but I got a ball safe. We're good. Ah. I hit the drop target there. Well, I can see that slow down feature really causing problems if it, like, stops in the middle of the ball coming towards the flipper and you get stuck. Looks like an extra upper, upper play field, but I haven't figured out how to get there yet. Pretty cool though. Okay, got the I and the C on the right still to hit. All right, now just the C. Hey, nice backhand. Oh, come on. Kick back. Woof. Thank goodness. I don't know what that did by knocking those letters out. Boom. Ah, there's that other section. Cool. Ah, boo. I 
looked at there a little too fast. Shoot. Hey, ball save was lit. Nice. There is definitely a, a light cycle. Look how light it is now compared to when I mentioned it before. I like that. exoplanets I love the look of it I haven't quite figured it out at all actually uh, but I like it I don't love it but I like it overall thoughts well worth the money because it was only 15 bucks if it was 25 bucks I'd have still spent it I don't think that's too much to spend for for good tables none of them were bad at all I really like the Amazonia one, and I like this one as well, more than the others, but overall, it's going to be fun, and I'm really looking forward to digging into the rules. I think that's going to make a big difference. Uh, once I know what I'm doing and what to aim for, and start getting some multi-balls going and things like that, this is going to be a lot more fun. One complaint I would level, though, is that the tables are a little busy. Uh, it's almost like busy for busyness's sake. They don't have to be that complicated. You don't need all those flippers and you know it's just a little much please leave your comments below what did you think uh, have you played these yet are you gonna get them let me know in the comments thanks for watching everybody I really appreciate you guys coming by and we'll see you on the next one bye